To protect your server against data loss, it is very important that you take regular backups. Correctly configured backups can be the difference between a quick recovery and rebuilding a site from scratch. In today's video, let's see how you can enable or disable the backup service for your VPS or dedicated server from your WHM panel. Let us begin with disabling the legacy backup configuration. Log in to your WHM panel. In the search bar of the WHM panel, search for backup. This will take you to the backup section. In this section, the legacy backup configuration will be enabled by default. Click on the legacy backup configuration. Since the legacy backup configuration is being deprecated and being replaced by a newer and better configuration, we will disable this. After you disable it, click on Save. Once this is done, you will notice that the legacy backup configuration option disappears from the menu. Now, let us see how you can enable the new backup configuration. Go to the backup configuration page. This option can be found under the backup section in the menu. Click on the checkbox to enable this configuration. You even have options for the type of backup that you want. If you need more information, just click on the documentation icon next to backup configuration. This will take you to the cPanel documentation on backup configuration. For now, let us continue. For this video, we will continue with the default backup type compressed. Next, you can activate the option check the available disk space. If enabled, this will only run the backup if there is enough disk space available. Post that under scheduling, you can schedule when the backups will be taken. Daily backup. You can choose which days you want to take the backup. Here, you can choose to take backups every day. Under retention, you can enter the number of backups you wish to keep in the system at one time. Weekly backups. You can choose the day of the week the system takes a backup and you can also specify how many backups you want to retain at one time. Monthly backup. There are two options, the first day of the month or the 15th day. You can choose one of the two or both. Depending on the option you choose, the system will take backups. In the files section, you have two options, backup user accounts and backup system files. Under backup user accounts, you can select users whose files you want to enable the backup for. To manage this, click on select users. Here you can see all the users the backup has been enabled for on both the legacy and the new backup. By changing the toggle, you can either enable or disable backup for a cPanel account. Backup system files. This is recommended as this will help you recover any data loss. Select the databases that you want to take backups for under this section. You can do this for per accounts, the entire MySQL directory, per accounts and entire MySQL directory. Under configure backup directory, you can choose in which directory the backup will be stored. By default, it will be stored in the root backup folder. Next, you can set up a staging directory as well. When you have set your backup, just click Save Configuration. And that's it. You have successfully saved your backup configuration. If you want to know how to restore or delete backups, please refer to our previous video whose link we have mentioned in the description. We hope that this will help you understand how to enable backups for your VPS or dedicated server from your WHM panel. If you have any more queries, please contact our support team.